Here we're going to derive the equation for the pressure as a function of depth in a pool of fluid. And this condition is called hydrostatic equilibrium. Here I've drawn the top of, let's say this is a swimming pool, and here's the top, here's the bottom, and here's some random area, A. The fluid that's in the pool is a, has a density rho, and what we're going to do is derive an equation for the pressure. Now, pressure, as you know, is force over area. In this case, the force is going to be the weight of fluid above the area A. And so we need to calculate the weight of that fluid. So M times G uh, M times G is the weight of the fluid. M is the mass of the fluid in this box, in the column above the area A. Now, recall that density is mass over volume. And therefore, mass is density times volume. So we're going to replace the mass here with density times the volume. Density times the volume. Don't forget we have our little g over a. Now, what is that volume? That volume is the volume of the column of fluid above the area A. Let's take the height of that column to be h. We're using h. It's the height of the column, or you can think of it as the depth uh, of the area A below the surface of the pool. Well, if you have a box with area A, and height h, the volume is the area of the base times the height. So what we're going to do is we're going to re replace that volume with a times h, and then our other variables here. Now here, you're probably noticing that we can cancel the a's. And so we are left with pressure is equal to rho g times h. And that is the equation for the pressure at any depth h below the surface of a fluid with density rho. This only works for an incompressible fluid. That is a fluid where when the pressure increases, its density does not change. So it works for most liquids, but it does not work for most gases.